Tari Eason. But who will be the second scorer when we were talking to their head coach, Dane, John Brannon? Obviously, he was help, uh, very uh, happy with the performance of Williams scoring 27 of the outstanding freshmen on the floor now for the first time for Rick Barnes in Tennessee. Back and down, turns, gets a couple of Bearcats in the air, and we'll get to the free throw line. We'll take our first visit to the charity Cincinnati so far right now just living outside the arc. Every field goal attempt they've taken, I know it's a graduate transfer. Adam Woods throws up a wild shot trying to draw some contact. And here comes Pumps. Good pass into the corner. A very, very nice look that time by Johnson. Up and down we go. Unselfish play, but what a block from behind by Eve Pons. First rejection after 73 last year. Jaden Springer just on the floor wearing number 11, and to your point, Dane, about offensively, but just can't make the open shot on the offensive end yet to find a rhythm offensively are the Volunteers. Keith Williams bailed out of anger. Here comes Viscovi out of Uruguay. Interesting story last year. Came at midseason after, as you pointed out, the retirement of Lamonte Turner. And went for six three-pointers in his debut against LSU. Spring. Shot clock winding down. Johnson splits, steps back, and, and come out with points. Still very early, but Tennessee really needed that. They had missed their last six shots, and Ivanowskis. Take a look at Keon Johnson, the freshman star, just gets in the paint, under control, sets his feet, a little bit of a fade away, and with that type of... Cincinnati back into that zone, looking for... Tennessee team could be elite defensively. Pull-up jump shot by Bailey Jr. Not there, and the cold shooting continues offensive. Poor look, shooting just under 90%. Yeah, at 7-1, he does a nice job on the defensive end of just being in the way. And so uh, it's a shame to see him in foul trouble for the Bearcats yet again. Saunders quickly at the other end, kick outside. DeJulius thought about it. Floater in the lane comes up well short. It's been the prettiest thing. And to your point, Dane, turnovers are negligible, just two apiece. And the teams are getting good shots as example. Natty's getting to the rim. They've had several good chances. Neither team can finish right now. Davenport's a guy that shot 14% from three last year. And all of a sudden this season, he's shooting above 50. He used up all his misses last year. Nice pass down in time. The ball's just 5 of 14. Springer hounding, Ivanowskis with it. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Step back far in this league. I could see him being an all-conference player sooner than later. Wilkerson has been quiet. So has Viscovi. So has all the rest. Springer has that shot rejected. Battling for it down inside. Nice rebound. Taken by Eason. Ivanowskis, another trap. Some full court pressure by Cincinnati returning the favor right now against Tennessee. Springer typically kind of bail you out and pick you up, and that's not available to them right now, at least not with any type of normal capacity. So somebody's got to make a hustle play and get the bench off their feet and rally around each other. Ivanowskis working inside earlier on in his career. When he gets jobs, he does well and does well early. Evidence by Northern Kentucky and again in his first year. Vescovi back on, threw it up to the floor right now. He's averaging 17 a game. Set your feet off the back of the iron and once a four of 20. And Cincinnati made their first couple of triples. They're four of 11 from outside the arc, but only five of 18 overall. Oh! Good, hard attack of the basket. And once again, that's a tough chance, but that ball rims in and out. Jeremiah Davenport unable to score it. And look together and see if they can't get a little momentum going in their favor heading into halftime. Johnson lobs to the rim. 
Johnson left all alone with the ball. Skip pass by Kamwa. And then as Johnson gets this, just a ball fake, but again, not so good of a ball fake that you had to run away. As we've talked about three or four three pointers in their opener on Tuesday night against Colorado. Here's Colorado with 23 turnovers. That's really good play at the defensive end. And the impressive performance now at both ends of the floor for Keon Johnson continues. If you didn't know on the roster that this guy was a freshman, you'd assume that he was a fifth year senior. Keon they can't find 12 and white for a three here in the corner. Nice play along the baseline. Pons has that senseless one early on an illegal screen. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. A really nice job of him going straight up and down there along the baseline. 9 2 run. Now for Tennessee to take the 22 19 advantage. Nice play. High, tough rebound by Johnson and Trapper. Pons working against Ivan Muska's path. Need to make sure they go into halftime within striking distance. 340 remaining in the opening half. Now the largest lead for Tennessee after they trailed it early. 15 to 11. Cincinnati has really gone quiet at the offensive end. Get a good look there, not there, and Descoldi takes the rebound. Three from the free throw line. They're in the bonus now. Looking for vote down inside and really good active hands by the Volunteers. Winner, tough pull up, jump shot off the front of the iron, and vote takes the rebound. And he'll guard one through five. He'll guard your point guard or your seven foot one big man and pick up his critical third foul. For Springer with it, time winding down. Four is cleared, right in the middle, pull up jumper. Not there, tipped by Fulton and close, and the ball off the front of the iron. Both pretty good block out and then push away. Nice stiff arm against Fulkerson. To Julius, good pass inside. On single cup. Second half and you need to get as many minutes as possible out of your star. Yeah, Dan, I really agree with that. Williams, 27 points in the win over Furman and 18 against a very good Xavier team in the loss. Pull up jump shot by Springer. Pons with the off response right now by Pons and the Volunteers. 6 nothing run of their own. Out of a maximum of 4,000 allowed here at Thompson Bowling, the capacity over 21 and a half. Really as a basketball program after Donnie Tindall got let go and then right before that, Conzo Martin had chosen uh, the Cal job over staying at Tennessee and, and maybe didn't feel appreciated in Knoxville. So um, to have Rick Barnes and his type of reputation in Knoxville was... Rick Barnes is the Naismith National Coach of the Year, 31 and 6, SEC Coach of the Year. They are glad to have him here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And a program still on the rise with things to do. Nice to run out by a little careless with the ball. And Williams so tough. Gets it out on the other end with the finish. Springer getting down inside. The foul is going to be called on the perimeter against number three, Saunders Jr. Just defense turning into offense. Williams struggles offensively. By no means is it panic mode. I, I think you can see the potential. And some of these guys, Tennessee fans, have already seen half success from a year ago. It's just a matter of time before they get their chemistry down. And again, they've been playing some, some very good opponents in the Cincinnati ball club that's never going to let you have anything easy. Julius working hard off the a lot of primary point guard duties in his history. Coach Brandon has been very impressed with his ability to transition from sort of off guard supporting role into primary. With Julius again gets right down in the lane. Tough they made just one out of their last seven. Saunders wild shot looking to draw the contact and quickly up ahead. Saunders oh! Second team all ACC SEC last year. Hit your head to spring. Some calls for the lob, and you'd be hearing Fulky chance if Thompson Bowling Arena was filled to capacity. But uh, uh, they'll have to do it to retake the lead, 45-40. Where do you go if you're Cincinnati? I'm not sure you can exactly. rely on Davenport. Davenport now with 14. Springer, we had to have the game. We were talking about it during the break. It felt like Tennessee was getting much better at the off. Natty Vescovi looked like he had a crack. Eight to shoot. 
Johnson trying to create some space. Tough shot and a really good defensive sequence by Cincinnati. And here comes to Julius quickly to the other end. And that ball rejected off the board. You can see the Cincinnati bench. They wanted a, a goal ten. Springer, 53. On Tennessee side, keep getting yourself to the free throw line. 19 of 22 now. To Julius. That's going to be a traveling violation. And the Cincinnati is only three of six from the line. To Julius down the lane against Fulkerson. High onto the backboard. Ivanowskis for the offensive board. So far here in the second half. That's a pretty remarkable number. A huge advantage. Plus 18 at the free throw line. Good attack to the basket. That one won't go, but a really good look once again by Keon Johnson. The confidence that this young freshman has, but also the confidence Rick Barnes has in this young freshman late in the game to have him on the floor in this moment and him not shying away during a critical stretch. That you like that shot in that particular with time and score in mind. Now, not enough ball movement at all on that one. I know you want to wind clock, but you want to get some offense going while you're driving that clock down. Vote flexing his right leg, might have taken some contact. He's matched up against Coach and turned around this and that. I'm more interested in who's going to finish the game. And right now you're seeing who Coach Barnes trusts in this particular matchup to close this thing out. And Tennessee, nice play on the back. Fouls to give, so to speak, is we're under two minutes. Looking for Davenport, who's had a very nice game, number 24 from outside the arc. Irony of ironies, Pons is guarding it right down the lane. And that ball off of Williams. Did it go off his leg? We're looking, the officials are going to talk this one over. And look at the back pick by Fulkerson. And Eason, the freshman, just does not help out well enough or quick enough. you got to be able to help just prior to that. So, uh, again, the points are hard to come by. You have to make the most of those opportunities. At the Cincinnati, when they least need it, goes back to really struggling offensively. No